every time I pick up the camera, he whines. He lays there and whines. I don't even know if you can hear him. Jeez. Anyways, good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a kind of quick grocery haul with you guys and share some recipes. Sometimes I get in this like rut of not being able to figure out what to do for dinner and I'm sure a lot of you other moms families struggle with what the heck to do for dinner luckily I am home and so I start dinner early so I most of the time I do have the time to make stuff but that doesn't mean that I want to spend five hours in the kitchen making dinner so I am very quick simple easy dinners so that's what I try to plan ahead for so basically I sit down and I will write down between five and seven different meal ideas. A lot of the time those dinners will carry through until the next week, but I just like to have every day of the week if I'm gonna cook, I want to have something that I know that I can pull out. So I don't have like Monday we have to have this, Tuesday we have to have this. I just make a list of the things that I know I have ingredients for, um, go to the store, get what I don't have, and then throughout the week I'll just kind of pick. Like tonight I feel like cooking a little bit fancier so we'll have steak and then this night it's gonna be frozen pizzas so that's kind of how I do my grocery list so I just got back from going to Walmart and Aldi's those are really the only two other than another grocery store that is Jewel they're a little bit more pricey but Walmart and Aldi's they're in town and so I just kind of stick to those two stores so I kind of have everything separated for my Walmart or Aldi's stuff and my Walmart stuff is over here. So a lot of this stuff is very random, but I wanted to sh also share with you what our menu is going to look like for this week. At Walmart, I went ahead and grabbed just a couple things of fruit snacks and fruit roll-ups. I got a big thing of chips that will last us quite a while too. Another reason too why I kind of stock up on like the chips and the fruit snacks, Brett has started working 12s, which means he works 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And so I think he's going to be working that for a while. So I'm trying to stock up a little bit extra on the snacky stuff because he's always starving when he gets home and that's at like earlier in the afternoon. But now that he's even working later, I'm trying to stock up and make sure I pack him a lot of stuff, which is also why I got a ton of drinks. I also needed a new eyebrow pencil, so this is the brand that I get. I get Revlon and the shade Blonde, but I like the tip of it because it's not like a crayon, but it's pointy and it's like a, I don't wanna say a gel, but it's, it's not like the eyebrow pencil. And so it also has a little bit of powder in here as well, this little part on twists. And so you can kind of fill in a little bit and then it has this bottom part too to kind of blend everything in, but. That is that um, Dalton has started eating this Greek yogurt, which is good because I know it's better for him, better for them than the gogurt that I have. <laughs> so we all like this. My kids also loved these little Jello snack packs, and so I thought this would be some just something different in their lunch. I don't always go with you know the fruit snacks and Jello and that kind of thing, but. Um, every so often I, I do like to kind of switch things up. So this was that week. I have Jell-O. We needed some new shampoo and conditioner. I have a thing of Capri Sun Pacific Cooler. I have been using coconut milk in my coffee and then I also dump a little bit of this in first. So I'll do a little bit of coconut milk, a little shot of this, stir it up, and then I'll put my coffee cup underneath here so that the hot coffee kind of blends everything together. I stir it and it is so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that over here. I also found some cinnamon rolls. They had these cinnamon toast crunch ones. So I thought that sounded good, especially with Brett working. He might even be working on Sundays. The job right now is crazy for him, his schedule. So I like to pick up like quick, easy breakfast that I can send him out the door with as well. So there's that. And my kids needed hangers badly. So that is really everything that I got at Walmart. So over here, this is the Aldi's stuff. I'll kind of start in this corner. I'm always stocking up on onion powder and garlic powder. My kids also really like these salt, sea salt and vinegar kettle chips. This is the bread, and I've showed this before. This is the bread that I get from Aldi's. I'm also always picking up one of these minced garlic 
um, little jars. They have this over in the seasoning section. It's not refrigerated, but I do refrigerate this. So I always put a little bit of that in whatever I'm cooking or if I'm making garlic butter, I throw a little bit of this in and melt the butter and that's it. A1 sauce, some blueberries. I picked up a little thing of chocolate chip cookies. These, I'm, I swear to you, these are the best chocolate chips that I've ever had. And they're like a dollar something at Aldi's, but they're the milk chocolate ones. They're so, so good. Sourdough bread, that's gonna be for a dinner. I was totally out of brown sugar, almost out of flour. You guys know I'm constantly baking, so I'm always making sure that I'm stocked up on my baking stuff. Cream cheese, this is gonna be for a dessert that I'm gonna make. Strawberries, and then I always like to have on hand lunch meat. If I have a dinner that I cannot really pack easily in Brett's lunch, I just throw in some lunch meat sandwiches, so I always try to have lunch meat on hand. Um, coconut milk, this is the creamer that I use for my coffee. Orange juice, um, a couple things of Gogurt. I actually just started buying uh, Gogurt again. I stopped buying it for the longest time and just had the yogurt that I have over here. But like I said, I like to switch things up every now and then. Um, corn and creamed style corn. I'm going to make cornbread casserole with steak and mashed potatoes for one night for dinner. Salsa, some cheese. They were out of the other cheese that I usually get. Some bananas, some onions. I always put onions in stuff. I just think it gives it good flavor. Popcorn, Dalen and Dalton's class. They have to bring a, a snack basically and so this year the list was kind of modified so now the kids can bring in nothing with nuts so that's why they go off of like a snack list. So every morning we make sure we have a snack for them packed. Well this year they said that they can do popcorn and Cheerios so I this is like our favorite. If you have not had this from Aldi's, it is so good. And if I ever want like a desserty thing at the end of the day, I have been having this with this seasoning. Oh my land. It's good. Um, the other thing is apples and corn tortillas and sour cream. So with all of that stuff, what we are gonna do for dinner is chicken taquitos. Taquitos. Why does that sound weird? Chicken taquito. Taqui taquitos. Taquitos, taquitos, chicken taquitos. Why does it sound weird? Another night we're going to grill out. I'm going off of my little chart right here that I made a long time ago. If you've watched my videos for a while, you know that I made this whole like little section and I made this calendar as well. And I don't really use it a lot, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna grill out, Brett's gonna grill out. We're gonna do steak and pork chops, mashed potatoes, and cornbread casserole. Another night we're gonna do cheesesteak stuffed shells, um, cowboy casserole another night, breakfast patty melt another night, and then frozen pizza, because usually on the weekends, um, but the weekends have just been super chaotic, so I always like to have a quick, whether it's, you know, a little wrap or the frozen pizza to quickly make or pop in the oven if we're trying to get out the door. So that is the dinners that we're going to have. I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff away. I also need to clean out my fridge, kind of wipe stuff down a little bit. It's one of those times. So I'm going to get all of this stuff done. I have about two hours, an hour and a half before I have to go get my kids from school. So I'm going to get all this stuff done and have lunch because it's one o'clock and I'm starving and I have yet to eat today. <laughs> time to sort out all the fights yeah. sort out all the lies oh baby yeah oh, no. there was a part of me that knew that and still i'm caught by surprise oh. i thought you'd always be mine oh yeah i guess our dreams fell asleep there's no passion in the comatose yeah. baby going down 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 yeah. baby going down 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 yeah. tried so hard to stay afloat yeah we keep moving like the river goes yeah.
we had it covered Was gonna patch up all the scars But we smashed up all the parts Oh, na, na, na Always knew that you were stubborn But didn't know it'd be so hard To figure out who you really are a really simple recipe for dessert. They are called no-bake cookies. My, it's my grandma's recipe. I make them quite often. The recipe is from my grandma, um, Grandma Foster, and I, Brett loves this recipe. My dad loves these. I Every time I would see him, for the longest time, I would make him these cookies. So I wanted to show you really quick um, the cookies that I make. We are having a very simple breakfast supper tonight. Brett is on his way home, so he's getting off work early today, which is awesome. So simple breakfast supper, but I wanted to go ahead and get these cookies done so that they could be cooling off so we can have them after dinner. So this is the recipe. Oh, turn on the right burner, that would help. So first you're gonna take, this is all done on the stove, and then you put it um, on a plate and let it cool and that is it. So it's literally all in one pot. So one stick of butter. So now that the butter is almost melted, you're going to add two cups of sugar, white sugar. Then you're gonna mix the sugar and the butter together. Then you're going to add a half a cup of milk and a quarter cup of cocoa powder. So you're gonna whisk everything together and you're gonna kinda let it cook together and bring it to a boil. And as soon as it's brought to a boil, you see it starting to bubble, you're going to shut the heat off. You also wanna whisk it every so often, that way it doesn't burn or anything on the bottom. And I have it between medium and low heat. So the edges are starting to boil a little bit, but the whole thing is not boiling. Now that this is starting to boil, I'm going to shut the heat off. Then you add one teaspoon of vanilla. I do not have that, so I'm going to skip that step. And then you do half a cup of peanut butter. Then you stir it. I just realized I, this whole time, have been using Old Fashioned Oats. The recipe says quick oats, which are the bigger oats. Old Fashioned Oats are smaller. And I just realized every time I made this, I had to use more oats because it was really runny. Well, that makes sense because the little oats are gonna make it runnier because they're smaller. The big oats are gonna take up more room, more circumference. So use quick oats. So basically all I did was I just poured a little bit of the regular oats, the quick oats, the big oats, I poured them on top so that it wasn't so like runny. So use quick oats, quick oats, the big oats for this, not old fashioned. them in the fridge wherever I could find space up here and over here I put them in the fridge uncovered I will probably do you hear Dalton Jesus uh, he's so loud like is that like a requirement for little boys to like yell with their friends on Xbox <laughs> 
love him, but it's obnoxious. That is it. Brett should be home soon, and I'm going to go ahead and start on dinner, which is very easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. Let me know if you'd like to see more, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.